Okay, so it is, what day is it today? Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Here you go. She just lost her bottle. Um, it's Wednesday. I liked editing my vlog better than my other videos that I edit. Um, so my hair is actually washed and down for once. So I thought I would just vlog a little bit. I, okay, so all of my hair friends are just gonna cringe, but I have been using Pantene, which, okay, not that bad, but a shampoo conditioner combo for months now. So finally, it's like $3. Finally that ran out and it came time to buy more shampoo. So I thought I would show you what I started using. Step into my shower with me. So, um, wait, how do I, oh. oh, I was like, how do I turn the camera? Turn your camera around, McKenna. Okay, so here is what I've been using. Well, I actually just used it for the first time last night. Oh, don't mind that hair. Okay, actually, don't act like you don't have hair in your shower. Um, so I got the Living Proof Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, okay, a little more expensive than my Pantene stuff. But um, I actually really, really like it. I used it last night for the first time. And put, okay, so the reason I decided on Living Proof it's not just because Jennifer Aniston has been in their ads for years, <laughs> um, but I was listening to a podcast with um, Chrissy Rasmussen, who owns Habit Salon. I know you've seen the pictures on Instagram. If you haven't, go to your Explore page. I promise it'll be like the fifth picture you see will be from Habit Salon. So she was talking about um, how a lot of drugstore products have a lot of wax in them and that can cause a lot of buildup in your hair, which can cause your hair to be more greasy, not have as good of texture. Okay, no, my hair's not amazing, but um, I was kind of, you okay? She can hold the bottle herself, and it is so funny. Sometimes she'll just like use one hand and like drink it. It's so cute. So, um, I don't like to wash my hair a ton. I also don't like to um, style my hair a lot. I mostly will just let it air dry and then sleep on it. Anyway, my hair routine is pretty minimal. Everybody says that when you're pregnant, your hair grows a lot from your vitamins. It's not from that. It's because you're too sick to style your hair. So, it doesn't get any heat damage and it just grows a ton. <laughs> But um, anyway, I started using it last night and immediately like I was washing my hair in the shower and you know when you can tell your hair it's like squeaky clean. Normally I don't love that feeling but I realized it's just getting out all like the buildup and the gunk and product. I also sweat a lot <laughs> in my workouts and I don't always wash my hair after I work out which I'm sorry if you think that's gross. You must not have a newborn. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but I don't always wash my hair after my workouts. So anyway, the shampoo just like cleaned out my hair so good. Um, and then I used the conditioner also. It just felt really soft. Um, I let it air dry as per usual. And I like it so far. It is a little bit expensive. I got it on Amazon which I think people have mixed reviews. People are like, she'll take the bottle out to cough and then put the bottle back in. Oh, she's so cute. Um, I know there's mixed reviews about buying salon products from places other than salons or a beauty supply store, but um, everyone's like, they put water in that. Okay, I'm pretty sure the FDA would like shut those places down if they were filling them with water i don't think that happens and i'm also on the fence about whether like the generic product is the same as the real product like i was watching a youtube video and the girl was like 
Do you think Walmart has their own green chili factory? No. It's the same green chilies as Ortel or whatever it's called, Rotel or whatever, just with a different label. Anyway, I don't know if that's true with beauty products, whatever. So I bought it on Amazon. It was $35 for the two. My mom is really good at getting the coupons at Ulta. So if you want to save a little bit, I know Ulta always has that stuff on sale. Um, so I started using that shampoo. I really, really like it. Halsey is five months this week. Like, how did that happen? She has kind of learned how to roll over. Um, she can roll from her back onto her stomach, but she can't roll back onto her back. So she's working on that. She'll, like, get stuck on her stomach, and she's like, eh, eh, eh. It's really cute. Um, we're also working on her bedtime routine a little bit. Um... I'm trying to give myself, just be patient, because I think if I try to push a schedule too much, it'll just stress me out, but um, she's still sleeping pretty good at night. We had a little hiccup, but um, she sleeps really good, and she started solid foods, but it just it wasn't working for us, so just for a few different reasons, so I think I'm going to hold off on solids, um, maybe for another month or so. Um, we have a little bit of a trip planned for Easter, and um, I'm excited. It'll be the first kind of trip Halsey goes on, so I'm a little nervous to like, pack all her stuff, but mostly like anything we forget we'll be able to buy when we're there, so I'm getting excited for that. Um, I just got home from work. Cameron um, has left for work. I think I'm just going to rest a little bit um I was gonna go to my workout class this morning and did not go oops I just wasn't feeling great and I knew like I have like a slight bit of a cold and like a sore throat and I knew if I went I would just be like kind of dragging and I didn't want to like anyway maybe any workouts better than no workout but I don't really feel like that when it's five in the morning so I skipped it for now, I'm just going to rest a little bit. Um, maybe watch Shark Tank. <laughs> I feel like Shark Tank is like a slap in the face. Not a slap in the face, but I'm always just like, oh, duh. Like when I see the products that are on that show, I'm like, how come I didn't think of that? So I've been watching that. Yeah, this shirt I got from TNA has the little um, TNA logo right here. I really, really like it. It's like a little bit cropped. Um, and it's long sleeved. They are $30 on Aritzia and I'm obsessed with it. Like that's how much I pay for a workout tank top. So I can get a full shirt for the same price as no sleeves. <laughs> anyway, so that came and I'm really liking that. Cameron just built a computer, which um, is a thing apparently. I thought you would just buy a computer from a store um, but I guess you can build them yourself, which I didn't know. Literally, when I was in second grade, I used to be really, really smart. Yeah, I know. I know you're shocked. So, I used to be really smart, and I went to this gifted program at the high school, and during free time, we would have these different stations where kids could go around and do different stuff. Like, one of the stations was, like, um... A puzzle or another station was like reading books another station was like um, kinetic sand stuff like that one of the stations was literally the computer tower thing which I guess that's the computer the computer isn't the monitor which I didn't know that so okay um, there was like a little computer tower that kids could take apart and put back together like there's literally tools and kids are over there like unscrewing stuff and like you had to go to each station so I would get to my station or I would get to that station I'm like what am I supposed to do so I'm just sitting there like hitting the tool on the computer thing because I don't know how to use a screwdriver and I remember my teacher came around and was like McKenna you're holding the screwdriver upside down I'm like okay I didn't know this was freaking home improvement thought this was a talented and gifted program 
Just because I can read at a fourth grade level doesn't mean I know how to take apart a computer. <laughs> so um, Cameron just built a computer. <laughs> That's what's going on in our life. Um, which is way cool. He's so smart with stuff like that. And he just, it's amazing. Like he's so good. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to go get another refill of my Diet Coke. It's the extent of my skills. <laughs> anyway, um, I think I'm going to go and just rest for a little bit and I will catch up with you later. Okay. I wanted to talk really quick about these bibs. Um, so they're like a little bandana and they have a little snap closure. Of course there's a hair on it. <laughs> there's hair everywhere. Um, okay, so they're kind of like a cotton jersey material on the front, and then the back is this fleece material. I think I bought a pack of eight on Amazon and it was like $20. Um, so I think that comes out to like two or three dollars a piece. So Halsey was really drooling a lot and there were a couple reasons I didn't love that so she was first of all it just makes their shirt so wet and I felt like it kind of would almost smell a little bit after a while which I mean just because it was wet and then another thing that was happening was she was getting um she Sorry, so she was getting a little bit of a rash on her chest and underneath her neck just because she was wet all the time. So I finally was like, okay, we need to go ahead and get some bibs for her. I was nervous with the fleece um, on the back side of the bib because I was afraid it was going to be just like a weird, um, like I was afraid it was going to feel weird um, when it got wet. But I actually like it. My little sister was saying, since it's fleece on the other side, I feel like it's not focusing. Sorry. Since it's fleece on the other side, um, the moisture won't seep all the way through because if it was cotton on both sides, the moisture would just go through back onto her shirt. So I've been really liking these. Um, I can tell like the bib is just soaked by the end of the day, but then her shirt stays dry and then her neck and chest are staying really dry. So I'm so glad we found them. Um, I did find them on AliExpress for like 50 cents. So if you are smarter than me and want to go on AliExpress and buy them and then just resell them to your friends, do it because that's what I want to do, but I'm not smart enough and I don't know enough moms to do that. So anyway, I've been really liking these bibs. Um, one of my friends was saying she uses the copper pearl ones. Um, and she said she's really liked those. So, um, I wanted to go with a little less expensive option just because I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about them but I have really really liked them and it doesn't seem to bother her like she doesn't grab at it she's not like pulling on it she'll suck on it sometimes but I don't really I mean she sucks on her blankets sometimes too so um these bandanas I've really really been liking okay so I thought I would show you she's wearing her little bib right now and it is just absolutely soaked um but i'm glad because i like that this gets wet and not her shirt um she's still pretty drooly especially when she like sucks on her hands but um they've been so nice and it's also nice like after she eats just to have something right here to like wipe her mouth to wipe her nose um i'm really really liking them and i guess i didn't even really mention the patterns are so cute i'm pretty picky about my patterns and stuff I put her in. Um, but I like them, I think they're so, so cute. Yeah, Halsey thinks so too, huh? Say hi. Can you say I'm five months? I'm five months old? Yeah. She gets seriously so loud. Yeah. Are you the cutest? I think she's getting tired. Oh, there's the drool. There it is.